Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Potentially our last break of the night. Maybe we might be able to squeeze another one box break after this. But for now, 2017 Panini Absolute Football 10 box break number nine. Pick your team nine is right here. So on a Saturday night, thanks to all of these folks for joining us. John Parker with the last spot mojo. Cleveland Browns, good luck. There's everybody else right here. It's been a minute or two since we've seen this Absolute Football, but it is some nice stuff. I enjoy it. So settle in, boys and girls. This break will take us about 40 minutes or so. We'll try to run, go a little bit more quickly than usual. I know it's a little bit later for people on the East Coast. This is the end of the week for me, so this is, this is like a, this is like five o'clock on a Friday for me. For all of you, all of you Monday through Friday folks, you guys know the feeling. All right. So here's all 10 boxes right here. And here we go. Good luck. All right. I don't think we're going to do Spectra tonight, Arthur. That's going to that's going to be for next week. Now the uh, one box break of Immaculate will be the only thing I'll do after this. Otherwise, we'll call it a night. We should do that Spectre next week, though. There, we don't have any many, very many cases of that left. All right, Ellie, what's going on? Ellie's out Ubering. She's taking a break, though. All right. Redskin, Samaj P. Ryan. We were just talking about him. I'll say that that is my, one of my sleeper picks for, for DraftKings. And here we go. Last spot mojo already. David Yoku, 12 out of 25. This is a future, potential future pick right here. He could start to emerge. Tight ends are a wasteland anyway, so... You never know who's going to do anything. There's Javion Clowney, 85 out of 99. Nice tools of the trade for the Texans, Matt Rourke. So Yoku might be another one of those guys that becomes a tight end, uh, like becomes a streaming option for tight ends. And then we've got a couple base cards here that we'll breeze through. We'll sleeve all of these numbered cards up too. There's Corey Davis. Nice. Triple relic and autograph. Double o, triple 004 out of 199. I don't know where I got triple. Triple relic is what I was attempting to say. All right, Tennessee Titans. I'll be for John Parker. Nice Erlocker. And tools of the trade, CJ Procise, 21 out of 99. we go some base cards Emmett Smith and marks of fame wow YA Tittle four out of 25 he just passed away in the last week too rest in peace New York football Giants David kissed there you go Dave just uh just 10 off the jersey number four instead of 14 and then there's Goff 77 out of 99, part of that high-powered Rams offense. That goes to Jose and the Rams. A couple base cards there. All right, nice start. Next box. Good luck, everyone. A 
All right, out of 499, Trent Taylor. And then we have Jamal Williams, triple relic and autograph. Nice rookie. Auto for the Packers and John Parker with the Packers. There's Joe Flacco. A couple base cards. Josh McCown will actually be throwing the football for the Browns there. There's James Conner. And rookie reflex, Artavis Scott at a 325 for the Chargers. That will be for Kenjua with the Bolts. Still weird seeing Los Angeles Chargers on there. Historical duels. There's Eric Dickerson and then there's Jerome Bettis, 34 out of 49. Both for the Rams and Jose. And then a couple base cards here. Steve Young out of 499. And then we've got... Wow, Matt Ryan with ink. Five out of ten. Three color, dual relic, and auto, Matt Ryan. You don't see a lot of Matt Ryans in this. Kenjua with the Dirty Birds. That's a dirty hit right there. I kind of saw the Matt Ryan. I was like, oh, and then I was like, wait a second. That's an autograph right there. Nice. Out of 25, Seahawks, Amara Darbo. That'll be for John Parker. That was, not, that was not expected at all, that Matty Ice. You don't see that very often. Falcons are playing the Dolphins. I feel like the Falcons are going to destroy the Dolphins, right? I guess unless Jake Cutler decides that he's going to... And that rest of that offense decides to wake up. So I've got all the games up right now, so we, we can talk games a little bit as we go through this. After I do this box, that kind of helps me prepare for the week, as uh, for the for the weekend of games as well. Jim Kelly to 499, and we've got Charles Haley. Nice, 24 out of 25, Cowboys edition. So we've got a couple nice uh, old school, or one old school guy here, one veteran, one old school guy. Cowboys, that is for Matt Rourke. Hall of Fame jersey autographs, nice. Game worn material as well, that's cool. There's Samaj P. Ryan again, 95 out of 99. He's going to get a bulk of the carries, Kevin Crouch. We were talking about this off camera, off the recording. He was looking for daily fantasy sleepers. But now that I've told our millions of people, Kevin Crouch, maybe he won't be a sleeper anymore. The millions of people watching this. Is that counterintuitive? Should I be telling people like Oppo? Just to just to throw throw them off the trail? Will Fuller, 23 out of 49. He's been looking pretty good lately, right? Well, the entire Texans offense has been looking good lately. Er, I mean. Uh, well, no, but there's the, the millions of people that watch the video, not just the live people, Kevin. Millions of people that are watching my videos. There's Eddie Lacy. You know, they're gonna watch and be like, you know what, Joe's right. Samaj P. Ryan sleeper. That'll screw our lineups. There's Sam Rogers. There's Mitch Trubisky. It's a good time to get this. Quad Relic and Autograph. 21 out of 25. For Dub Bears, Mark Rutt. There you go, Mark. Then we got Cody Kessler. 41 out of 99. Triple Relic and uh, no autograph, but Triple Relic. Tools of the trade. Those are the tools of his trade. We should just go oppo, Kevin. I should just be like, you know what? I think Robert Kelly's your guy this week in Daily Fantasy. You know? Robert Kelly's your guy. I should just...
just be like, big sleeper, Alfred Morris for the Cowboys. No Ezekiel Elliott. I know, they're on a buy. To screw people up. All right, Bears and Ravens. Who does everyone have? Bears, Bears, Ravens. Who do you got? I've got, I've got Ravens. I think the Bears will look okay, but I've got, I still have Ravens with this one. There's Steve Young. There's some more Packers. Gilbert Brown, John Parker, 75 out of 99. Absolute ink. Hey, Ellie, Browns fan, she says take Kevin Hogan. That Your game's next, Ellie. Your game is next. Oh, is he cleared to play again? Yeah, still still take still take Alfred Morris in your daily fantasy next week. That's one that one's for the Steelers, Patrick Evans. I like these inserts. We've got Oh, poor Corey Coleman. More hand issues this year. 46 out of 99. Another one for the Browns and last spot mojo for John Parker. All right, well, next game is uh, Browns. You know what? I should bring up NFL.com. Don't you know that we're all just degenerate gamblers? I'll just go to the odds right here. We'll start with, we'll start with Cleveland, Houston. Houston minus 12. We're taking Cleveland, right? Ellie, I'm going with your Cleveland. If Houston's minus 12, oh, man. That's a trap right there. I'm taking Ellie's Browns. There's tools of the trades. Will Fuller for uh, Matt Rourke and the Texans. Taking your Browns, Ellie. Out of 499. For the 49ers. And rookie premier, the juice, OJ Howard, 283 out of 299. Triple relic and autograph. No, can Jewish still goes with Hughes? You think over. You know what? I'm going to go with the Browns. There's uh, Laquan Treadwell, 17 out of 99. Arthur's taking Houston. They're laying 12 points. 12. Arthur, that's a lot. All right. Arthur's going to take Houston minus 12. Uh, you just wait. You just wait until I look like smart guy. Or until I look like smart guy when the Browns get it within seven. Yeah, double digits are kind of are kind of weird. That that's just that's just inviting you to like take Houston. You know what I mean? But really, at double digits, I'd be like, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'll take Cleveland. I'll roll with it. They gotta win sometime, right? Uh, New England minus nine and a half against the Jets. That you definitely have to take the Jets. Road favorites at minus over road favorites over a touchdown. You got to take the Jets. More often than not, that home team will get it there. New England minus nine and a half. They are road favorites. I guess Houston's at home, so that might change things. But road favorites with that many. I'm taking. I'm taking the Jets. They might not win. They might not win, but I'm taking the Jets. Rodney Adams. For the Cowboys, rookie reflex, Ryan Switzer. Arthur, do you like the Ryan Switzer? Arthur's a Cowboys guy. I feel like he's got a little kind of a dynamic runner, right? Special teams right now, but... That's what I'm talking about, Kevin Crouch. 12 out of 49. Canton Absolutes, Brian Urlacher. I thought he was already in. Uh, Miami on the road to Atlanta. Atlanta minus 9.5. 
I'm going to go with Atlanta on, in that case. If there's a team that actually looks inept, it would be the Dolphins. Cleveland actually looks okay. Like, if you really look at, the, look at it, and the Jets are actually looking okay too. But Miami actually looks bad. 76 out of 99, Alan Hearns, Jaguars. We'll get to the Jaguars game later. Historical trios, Roger Staubach, Troy Aikman, Tony Romo. Nice, game war materials. I always try to check for that. That's a good one for the boys. Oh, man, I'm just throwing cards around. Sorry about that. Warren Moon out of 499. I'm throwing around Curtis Samuel, 244 out of 299. That goes to the Panthers. That'll be Kajua. Sorry, Kajua, for throwing that hit around. It's fine. It wasn't Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> Thank God. Four out of five, Brian Hill for the Falcons. I don't know if Brian Hill is the reason for Atlanta's minus nine and a half, but I know that this is a train whistle for Kajua to win. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right. We are on a nice pace here, folks. Uh, next game. Detroit at New Orleans. Minus four. I would not, Kevin Crouch. I would not take Jay Cutler. That's what I'm saying. Miami just doesn't look good. I could say Falcons are going to be there. Nine and a, minus nine and a half at home. Falcons will take them. Uh, Detroit going to New Orleans. New Orleans minus four. Saints minus four. You know, uh, I almost said Tigers. Lions defense is actually kind of good. You know, yeah, Arthur says Lions. It's interesting. I might say Lions too on that. Lions are, are, are sneaky good. Yeah, that defense. That's all I'm talking about, Kajua. That defense. Look, they can put up some points. Okay. Uh, Green Bay are road favorites. Minus three and a half in Minnesota. Minnesota, man, they can't get Sam Bradford healthy. However, Case Keenum had a couple games throwing for under three, over 300 yards. I'm not sure who I have. You got to take the Packers, right? What am I talking about? That's crazy talk. Packers. Nice Jordan Howard, 37 out of 49. I feel like he's getting back on track, Bears. That'll go to Mark Rutt. Yeah, Packers all day, right? I'm not saying Minnesota can't score points. I think they actually could. You know, I think they actually will. They'll, they'll be fine, but they, I don't think they'll just have the firepower by the end of the game. 16 out of 25, Carlos Henderson opposite Joe Mojo. Yeah, Kevin, yeah. Our, Ellie saying Lions... Previously, Arthur St. Green Bay, Packers all day for Kajua, Saints and yeah, Pack Saints for Kevin, Packers as well. All right, next game. We just pulled that Jordan Howard. See, this this is called seamless segues, ladies and gentlemen. Seamless segues. We just pulled that Jordan Howard, who's been looking good. Chicago on the road to Baltimore. Minus seven. Baltimore minus seven. Who do you got who who do you guys and girls have? Or Brian Hill for Kanjua. Falcons looking good in this break. And Ellie's got Packers in that previous game, by the way. Yeah, I think that makes sense. It's got to be Packers in the end. Couple Eagle, couple Fly Eagles fly. 60 out of 99. Carson Wentz, Jordan Matthews. They're looking great. Chicago at Baltimore, minus seven. Yeah, I mean. I'm kind of feeling Bears. I think the I don't know if they'll win, but I can see them getting within that seven, right? Although Baltimore did look good against my Ra against my Raiders. There's David and Yoku out of 4.99. There's James Conner for the Steelers. Nice one, Steelers. That'll be for Patrick Evans. Yeah, I'll go Bears. Yeah, Bears. I mean, if if you're getting seven from the Bears, you gotta you gotta take that. You gotta take that. I think I think Mitch Trubisky could have 
you know, second game, second pro game, he could get into it. There's Julian Edelman for the Pats. All right, four boxes to go. We are flying on this. We are making good time. Um, yeah, we have not seen a Kenny G yet, Ellie. She has the lines in this one, but four boxes to go. Twelve mini boxes to go. All right. Next game. I wonder how it... San Francisco in Washington. Redskins minus nine. Redskins minus nine. I, I, I feel like the Redskins are taking this one pretty easily, right? San Francisco on the road. Washington defense looks pretty good. Especially, especially guys like Ryan Kerrigan. I know they don't have uh, Norman for a little while, but I don't, I don't think they're going to have too many problems with San Francisco. Redskins, minus nine. Yeah, right, Brandon. Redskins D is good. I agree. All right, yeah, that's an easy one. Okay, here's a more difficult one. The Rams. Rams going all the way. I know, it feels like a trap, but I think you got to go with your gut with the Redskins game, in my opinion. Rams at Jacksonville. Jacksonville only minus two and a half. And this is a sign right here. Bennett, there you go. Samaj P. Ryan, autograph, triple relic and auto, 194 out of 299. I'm saying he's going to get the carries. I think he's going to be a sneaky DFS play. You guys are going Jaguars? I'm going Rams. I say Rams. I don't know if they're going to score a lot of points. I would take the under. Goff might throw a couple interceptions. That Jags defense, that Jags secondary is great. Secondary is great. But they're not stop girly great, though. There's Deion Sanders to 499. And there's Absolute Inc. for the Steelers. Jack Ham. Nice. Out of 99. Nice one. Patrick Evans and the Steelers. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm with you, Kevin Crouch. Because that minus two and a half, with the team at home minus two and a half, that's pretty much a pick em right there. See, but the thing is, Arthur, Saxonville will show up, but Rams actually have a pretty good offensive line. That's why Gurley's been doing the thing that he's been doing. Yes, but Steelers, see, the Steelers have a lot more hidden offensive problems than the Steelers do. Rookie Reflex, 15 out of 25 for the Purple Birds, Tim Williams. That goes to Kajua and the Ravens. He's got bird teams in this. I'm going Rams. That's my hot take. I'm going Rams. Ellie's going to go Rams, too. 4 out of 25, DeAndre Hopkins. Folks, if you want to uh, join our Facebook group here, I'll drop the link to the Facebook group. I'll post the link to our Jaspies Pick'em right there, and then we could really put our money, not money, but we'll put right there. You can pick them, folks. You can pick your games against the spread for bragging rights, and then we can reconvene next week and see, see who got it right and who got it wrong. Yeah, Rams traveled to Dallas. Remember that, Arthur? What happened when the Rams traveled there? I think that was in Dallas, right? That was a weird game, though. Dallas, you get, the Cowboys got to fix that defense. Arthur. All right. <laughs> Two hours. I know. So what's another? What's an extra hour in Jacksonville? What's an extra hour? All right, uh, Tampa Bay at Arizona, minus Arizona minus one. Buccaneers at Arizona, Jameis Winston, Mike Evans at Arizona. Arizona Cardinals with a new running back in the backfield, Adrian Peterson, although I don't know how well AP fits in that kind of offense. David Johnson was, was a much more ap accomplished pass catcher. But I got to go, yeah, I agree with you guys. Arthur, Brandon, Kajua, I'm going Bucks. On this, I, th I think I think they'll do it. I think a lot of people will get Kevin says Buccaneers. I think a lot of people are getting hyped about Adrian Peterson, but 
in the end, I think the Buccaneers, uh, Buccaneers will take it relatively easily. Here's a good game. Here's a good game right here. Pittsburgh Steelers at Kansas City. KC minus three. Talking about Ben Roethlisberger on the road. Generally doesn't do pretty well. Wow, one of one. Leonard Fournette. Who's got the Jaguars? Anthony. Look at this. Monster. One of one Leonard Fournette autograph for the Jaguars. Anthony T. I don't know. Maybe we have to pick the Jaguars now over the Rams. This might be a sign. All right. It's, yeah, you're Arthur. It's a sign. I've switched my pick. I'm going Jacksonville, laying the minus two and a half. My, Jacksonville minus two and a half. That's what I'm going with. All right. Anthony, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go, Chiefs. Five out of twenty-five. Kareem Hunt, three-color patch for the Chiefs. Gotta go, Chiefs. Chiefs minus three. Yeah, Roethlisberger on the road, not very good. Still, their their offense still not quite clicking on all cylinders. And I th I, th I think. There's Johnny Unitas, and I think uh, Kansas City will be just fine. There's Jeremy McNichols, 205 out of 399. All right. Oh, all right. Be, don't, don't be afraid to hurt my feelings, boys and girls. Don't be afraid to hurt my feelings. Oh, first, a train whistle for Kenjua. One out of five, Joe Flacco. Should we go with the Ravens now? Change my picks to Ravens? One out of five, Joe Flacco. Kanjua, Nguyen, with Bertie Mojo. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Joe Flacco. Or is that his number for the day? One touchdown, five interceptions? No? Is that cold? Is that too cold hearted? What if Joe Flacco's listening right now and he's just like, come on, guys? Here's the glass. That's the case hit. There's Latavius Murray. Let's see how he does this weekend. Our Joshua Dobbs. And there is Malcolm Mitchell, 18 out of 25 for the Pats. All right. There's head to toe Corey Davis. That's a bigger card stock right there, too. Helmet and cleats, 94 out of 99. Got to put this in a little slider box, John Parker. Titans with that one. All right. You don't, ha you don't have to be nice, folks. You can be mean. Chargers at Oakland minus nine minus four. Oakland minus four. Chargers going to Oakland. Derek Carr's back. Michael Crabtree healthy. Cooper slight knee issue, and a little case of the drops this season. Brandon says he thinks Carr will ball out. The receivers will step up. Good man. That's what I like to hear. Oh, Chargers and Keenan Allen chalk in, in daily fantasy, probably. Although the, look, look at the look at the defensive stats, Kevin Crouch. Raiders don't give up as many yards as you think they do. Cooper four drops. That's a lot. Mike Williams, uh, I think it's questionable, but he's on the injury report for the first time ever. He's probably gonna play. Four drops. That's a lot of drops. You know, most re most like receivers who get that many targets uh, don't really maybe, maybe drops ten passes the entire year. And I'm not talking about just drops are 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 carefully defined. By the way, drops are defined as an, a, a catchable ball, not just a target. So well, you know. Yeah, Raider secondary isn't very strong, but we don't give up as many yards as you think we might overall over the last five games. Just saying. I feel like we have more problems with uh, with running, with blocking the run. We've got Randall Cunningham autograph. Wow, 12 out of 49, Randall Cunningham. That's pretty cool. Randall Cunningham for the Eagles. Is strong. Fly goes fly. Joseph G. There you go, Joe G.
think Pro Football Focus may have considered only one of those a drop last week, Arthur. But I hear what you're saying. I, that, that doesn't make me happy. Is that Coop right here? Catching fire, catching nothing. 78 out of 175, Amari Cooper. Come on, man. Come on, man. Coop, Raiders, Luke, Bennett. It better not be like 171 targets, 78 receptions. That would not be good. I, mean, I think he'll be okay, though, as the season goes on. He's getting a lot of hate because I think people are just salty that they drafted him too high in fantasy. Leonard Fournette, rookie roundup, insert. Jake Butt, he's a tight end out of 400. When's Jake Butt going to get off his butt and do things? Where are the Broncos fans at? Brita. With the Broncos. He catches 125 drops. Savage. 22 out of 25. Tools of the trade. Mike Evans. Got to go Buccaneers because we pulled the Mike Evans. A couple base cards here. Brian Urlacher to 99. Another, no, yes, another Samaj P. Ryan. 45 out of 99 for Bennett. Nice. I know, Arthur's throwing bows now. That's what he's doing. He's throwing bows now. Um, okay, I think that I, I'm taking my Raiders. I'm taking my Raiders. Take the over, take the Raiders. Take the over, take the Raiders. The over under is 50 and a half. <laughs> Yeah, take the over, take the Raiders. Yeah, that's a sign, Kevin Crouch. Add P. Ryan to all of your daily fantasy lineups. All right, uh, the Sunday night game is Giants at Denver. Giants minus nine and a half. Yeah, Cooper over on the drops, Arthur. Um, uh, Giants, ah oh man, poor Giants. No Odell Beckham Jr., no Sterling Shepard, no Brandon Marshall. No running game, Gallman kind of, but but I don't know. It's not like, it's not like Denver's an offensive juggernaut. You guys are taking Denver minus nine and a half. That's a lot of points. I don't know. I guess it'd be I guess it'd be crazy to go against. Denver, right? And Brandon's savage. Brian, Brand, Brandon's just like Giants are straight garbage. Yeah, that team. That's that might be an ugly game. Evan Ingram might have a nice game. That's another. That's another sleeper, Kevin Crouch. Evan Ingram. You know, who else is Eli gonna throw to when he's running away from Vaughn Miller? He'll be like, oh, Evan Ingram's there. 79 out of 99 to Jay Sharp for the Titans Iconic Inc. for John Parker. No, I mean, I think Giants fans would agree with you too. I mean, they just, that, that entire wide receiving core is pretty much gone. So now you're just, it's like a lot of unproven uh, guys that are out there. You don't know. I mean, I guess that's the unknown. I was watching something earlier today on NFL Network where the only mild concern that, uh, that the Broncos have is that it's just the unknown. So, you know, you can game plan for Odell Beckham Jr. You can game plan for Brandon Marshall, you know, and a healthy Sterling Shepard. But now you have a bunch of unknowns. You almost don't know how to practice for those guys. So that might be the slight advantage the, that the Giants might have. 295 out of 399. It could be one of those. I could see, like, Denver just taking their foot off the gas for just half a second and then be like, whoops. You know, Trevor Simeon having to hustle in the fourth quarter to try to, like, you know, win the game by three. There's A.J. Green. That's a catch. All right, and the last one, folks, and then I'll show you what the uh, case hit was. Barry Sanders to 499. We've got another Jordan Howard. Look, that might be the piece of a glove. Glove and jersey, 9 out of 49. That, those are the tools of his trade.
13 out of 25. Right, right, right. You know, Evan Ingram breaks out for some sort of crazy run, gets lucky, you know, and then all of a sudden Trevor Simeon's like, oh, I guess we better I guess we better win this game. You know, they'll win by like seven, by a touchdown. You know what I mean? So, Giants cover. <laughs> uh, R. Joshua Dobbs, Emmanuel Sanders, Jay Ajaye. Your case hit is going to be, wow, I've not seen this guy in a while. Patrick Mahomes, glass, that's a case hit for the Chiefs. Jose. That's that's my that's me scribbling Chiefs on there. That doesn't say Chiefs. It looks like it looks like I put a pen in my mouth to try to write Chiefs there. But there you go, Jose. That's going to you. Nice case hit. Nice break. Thank you very much, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you next time. Bye bye.